Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, so and like, hey, I'm a newbie. Oh, and then, okay, cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm a newbie and my name is Lois. Uh, I got into the kink scene really through just a general invite and my friend was like, I think you'll be into this party. Like, the first thing was like the music uh, and techno for me is like a big thing. I love it. And uh, from having been really into the Berlin scene last couple of years, I think I knew it'd be right on my street. <laughs> Generally, I like to make the first move, but I felt a bit awkward at first um, um, navigating the new space. So, I mean, I'm open in both ways. If someone wants to come up to me, that's cool. And if I can make a move as well, then I'm down to do so. <laughs> um, for me, I guess just, I, I would say probably exploring and just making sure I'm not overstepping the mark and ensuring that whatever kind of moves I make are reciprocated um, and like I said not, not assuming you know because it's quite a different space I would say to just don't go into a general club and you know kind of like I said not making assumptions but just knowing um, and just we're checking in with that person before you know progressing to anything else. Uh, not too much as I feel like I have a few pieces that I could wear to parties but as well I checked out the website ahead of the party just to ensure that I made sure that I had made an effort and you know look good yeah uh, generally what I'm wearing now uh, I like a good choker like a nice statement choker bra usually in bottoms combo because I just like the freedom of you know dancing like I said you can usually find me on the dance floor yeah doing some Shaking some moves. Uh, for me, the first time I went, um, so it was one of the bigger parties that was open to all, and I felt so kind of like liberated and like, I think what surprised me, I was so comfortable, even though I was like walking around half naked in a sea room, in a room full of people as well. And I felt, basically, I felt the safest I felt in a club space in, in, in like, I guess, a over a decade, especially when I compare it with general clubbing and because I felt safe and like I wouldn't get groped or yeah, it just felt like comfortable. Uh, I think for me, I realised that it's just about talking and just approaching or getting to know people. Uh, in the, During the lockdown, you threw, KV threw a couple of online parties that um, actually helped me open up being able to talk to more members than I had than previously before and because sometimes I feel when you meet people at a party can because everyone's already in the element and might already have their groups it can be kind of hard to sometimes like get insert yourself especially when you're trying to be aware of consent and being respectful towards others as well so um, I definitely think if you can go to like the events with the socials or like I said if you can even like have or chat, start messaging or talking to people, approaching people outside of that space, it might be, I think that's like one of the best, best ways of getting to know people. Um, the difference in me would be that the bigger parties feel, I guess you're meeting a, a broader range of people and and then with the smaller play parties, for me personally I felt they felt a bit intense because it's kind of like again I hadn't really been to that many and I felt kind of again out of my depth but um, after speaking with people and trying to actually now having a bit like more friends in the scene and actually talking to more people I feel like I'm going to feel a bit more comfortable and a bit more confident going to that space and also not overthinking it. I think that was part of the, part of the reason why I was kind of in that headspace and just like kind of like doubting myself, but yeah. Uh, as I said, I feel like just talking to people in advance. Also, I think, you know, it does, it, does, it does help if you have someone that you know who's going to these parties or if you know there's a friend that you could bring with you. Um, I feel like that's like the best way. But again, just talking, I think being open about what your interests are and 
Just being yourself, really, and people will accept you for that, I think. Uh, for me, being an open relationship, so I've been in a two-year open relationship, long distance. Um, it just means that I, um, I guess I don't have the boundaries of monogamy um, or my relationship, and it means I'm allowed to kind of explore that, which I, which I really appreciate and and feel lucky to have, as it kind of, you know, it's, it's been about like kind of testing boundaries for me, and also I like the fact that when I meet people, I don't have to be limited and. It, it makes me feel less like shameful of of having attraction to other people. Whereas before, in previous like m like monogamous relationships I was, I was in, you have to turn down um, yeah you have to turn down people who are interested in you because you're like I've got a partner. But yeah, it just gives you a bit more freedom um, and like makes you kind of I guess like understand and work around what ownership is and understand that love can come in varying forms.